Hello there, Sagittarius friends. Love and light to you. Welcome to my channel, Healing Tea Talk. My name is Myra. I'm so glad that you decided to click on this video and check me out and see what's going on. For my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you dearly. To my Healing Tea tribe, mwah, I love you guys so much. There, uh, I do a daily inspirational message in my Healing Tea Tribe. Uh, we meet in the morning. I usually do it between 7 and 11 lately. I've been a little later than usual. But when you hit the notification bell and hit subscribe, which you should do now, um, you can be notified when I go live. Because I have very sketchy internet from time to time, if I don't go live, then I will create a video like this one, and you guys can watch it at your leisure. But I do love to go live with my Healing Tea Tribe in the mornings. We have such a wonderful time, and I love you guys dearly. Just know that even though I am not live at this moment, I am going to fix that, okay? So thank you guys so much. Also, if you donate to my channel, I can get better internet quicker <laughs> so with that being said just know that there are always monthly personal reading specials you can check all of that out on my website at healingteatalk.com and that will be in the description box as well as these planetary movements i will make reference to them throughout the reading as i think they are applicable um, instead of going through all of them with you now because um, not everyone is interested in astrology, and I am no astrology expert. However, it does seem to be relevant from time to time, okay? All right, friends, I'm going to say a quick prayer, and then we're going to get into your reading, Sagittarius, for December 2019. Father, I thank you for my Sagittarius friends. I thank you for all that they bring to this world. Please let me be a channel through which you can communicate clearly. Um, let my guidance and, and intuition be on point. Uh, be particularly high. Thank you, Archangel, Spirit Guides of the Highest, Most Holy Divine Order. Thank you, Ancestors, and thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. So let's get into it. All righty. So I am going to start off with a couple oracle cards. We'll start with the Angel uh, Guidance deck here and see what messages come out for Sagittarius for the month of December 2019. Please keep in mind this is a general recorded reading um, and welcome cross watchers as well. It may not resonate or apply to everyone, which is fine. That just means you need to book a personal reading and get some guidance specifically for your situation, okay? The first card is child here Sagittarius so for the month of December you could have a particular interest in children children could be a theme in your life it's making time for a child and things like that needing to um, that could be an emphasis for this month for you and then we also have an opportunity to forgive as it relates to children or something else this card says this situation brings you the opportunity to heal grow and release negative patterns hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness we will help you release unforgiving thoughts feelings and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion so it sounds like there could be now energies can be reversible and vice versa Sagittarius so it looks like some, somebody could have said or done something to you you are being encouraged to take the high road to let healing and and peace and compromise come to this situation okay we also have the ocean here at the bottom of the deck some of you could be planning a trip or or something could come into play where you get to spend time near water water also does symbolize healing energies as well um, this card can also be an indication of needing to drink more water it can also be an indication of needing to do like a, a bath or something like that versus a shower but really taking advantage of the healing properties that water gives us alrighty let's get guidance from the spirit animal guide deck messages from your animal spirit guides okay let's see if something comes out Sagittarius for you for the month of December 2019 so I was going to do this video in a very festive little Santa hat, but my perimenopause wouldn't allow me to do that because <laughs> I got really hot. Alrighty, you have the Cardinal 
you have the cardinal sag and you are a mutable sign so i think that's really interesting it says the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance so do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. So, you know, I don't think that this is a coincidence, Sag, especially with Jupiter being in our planet for the first time in 12 years. So many of us could have noticed that we started maybe expanding our palates a bit. That means overeating um, and doing things that were big and expansive. OK, so this card is saying put your your physical and your spiritual in check if you have one out of alignment you know what's that saying about to be uh some people are so heavenly minded they're no earthly good okay so just be aware uh try to stay present um Sagis, we can be very philosophical we can be uh, yeah practicality i don't think is necessarily our strong suit so this is just about bringing balance to a situation Okay, and then underneath that we have the mountain goat, which says there's something out of balance in your life. <laughs> do whatever you need to do to correct it. Balance is seems to be a theme for us, Sag. We are going hard. We can party hard. We can. I mean, that can be a thing, right? So if it's relating to your diet, this is you know ease up on the drinking the eating it is that season um, but i feel like this is also just about being stable to in our emotions our pursuits we can be extremely um um impulsive sometimes as fire signs we also can be very um uh follow our intuition right and so there may be a need to look at things practically um if our if our desires want to take us to paris but we only have paris kentucky money <laughs> then we may not be able to go to paris france does that make sense all right so and these are not messages i particularly like hearing uh as a sagittarius but i guess it's something that we need to hear said so fine right fine all righty all right, so here's what's interesting too. At the bottom of this, underneath those cards, was the grouse. It says, Express yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. So, for some of you who are very artistically inclined, I feel like this is an affirmation to utilize your uh, artistic gifts. It also could be <laughs> that we need to exercise because <laughs> we are out of balance in our practicality and probably some of us jupiter causes us things to expand including our waistline so anyway this grouse card could mean and you need to exercise i know i need to because i i did my thing with a peach cobbler earlier today i did my thing with the peach cobbler do you hear me all right so let's go ahead and get your spread also you have here on uh, notes from the universe on love and connection says just convince yourself not others this says the need to clarify explain or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving what's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways this card is about um, you feeling the need to justify your behavior, your actions, your choices to other people. And this card is basically just saying when we do that, we are really trying to convince ourselves, not other people. We are trying to get comfortable with the choices and decisions we have made. Okay. So just thought I would mention that. And then underneath that is you need not worry, Sagittarius. So those are your guidance cards for the month of December, 2019. Um, looks real real good so now i'm going to do a count across and see what's going on okay overall energy is the star the first card out is always the strongest card sagittarius so this card is about uh, you could be dealing with an aquarius it's also about healing it's about healing it is about balance and you do see the water synchronicity there she's standing in water and you, then you have the ocean card OK, so I do think water could be a theme for the month of sorry if the microphone 
conflict. Um, water could be a theme for the month of December. Not sure if you're planning a trip or something like that, but this card is about healing. This card is also about wishes and dreams coming true. So that's pretty exciting, Sag. Let's see what's going on. I do see at the bottom of the deck a Three of Cups, which is about connecting with family and friends, celebration, a joyous time of life. All righty. I said I was going to start getting all the cards out before I started explaining them, however, um, because it gives me a better sense of what's happening, right? Sorry. Okay, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so the challenge Sagittarius seems to be um, for you for the month of December is going to be um, cutting people out of your life, maybe um, speaking the truth in love. It could be maybe being a bit harsh with your words. The Queen of Swords, I guess it depends on your motivation. What is your intention, Sagittarius? Because we can by nature be very, very blunt with people. So, um, you know, the, the challenge and the opportunity to forgive, right, could go definitely go hand in hand because you could want to cut somebody off, but the point could be that you need to forgive someone, okay? It looks like give and take is a principle here. You could also need help from someone and you need to be, you know, let somebody know that you need help or someone could be coming to you. But I do see a sun card here, which is life being the happiest it's ever been. This is a lot of fun. All of this is in your challenge position, Sagittarius. So what that tells me is that it could be something that life could be easier for you if you're willing to ask for help, okay? That's the challenge, right? All right. All right. So let's see what's going on at the base of your reading. Holy Spirit, why is Sagittarius watching this video right now? Please comment and subscribe, you guys, to be entered in the free reading raffle. I will be doing that on December the 7th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so comment and subscribe. It lets me know you'd like to be entered in the drawing, and I will be raffling off three free recorded raffle readings, okay? All right, so the Seven of Swords here, again, air energy. This is being a bit dishonest or unscrupulous, okay, Sagittarius? It's not telling the truth or doing something in a secretive way, all righty? And then we have the world card, which is, you know, this is a, a happy ending and a new beginning, okay? Um, so I'll get more clarity once I get everything out here. But I feel like for some of you, because you don't want to ask for help, you may try to do things. You may try to get what you need in a way that isn't the most optimal way. All right. Recent past, we have the Six of Cups. Uh, water energy, cancer, cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. All righty. Um, that card usually comes up. Now, that is happy times as well. But do you see how there are children in this? Both cards. Okay. So I feel like in the recent past, you know, a harmonious relationship with your children could have been a thing. Um, but that is happy times. You do show up Sagittarius as temperance, which is having a good balance of passion and persistence right passion and patience okay so it is having balance i feel like maybe you know you've been in a very balanced place emotionally with your children perhaps some of you um now balance is a theme for december so this could just be reminding us that we need to make sure that we are very balanced emotionally when dealing with our children i feel like it also could be too as it relates to Christmas and giving here with the six of six of pentacles here, giving and receiving is to be very balanced and level with that. Okay. Not overextending yourself, not doing more than you need to do to show love. Some of you could be worried about how you're going to provide for Christmas and your guidance, of course, is that you need not worry. Okay. All right, what's the frowning energy, Holy Spirit, of this reading? All 
Okay, the Knight of Swords, again, more air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is a sudden change in direction, Sagittarius. And the Wheel of Fortune here. So it looks like there's going to be a new start. You have the World card and the Wheel of Fortune. This implies the end of a karmic tie, the end of a karmic cycle, and the beginning of something new. It's positive, so it's a positive new beginning. And the near future. Near future, Holy Spirit. Near future for my Sagittarius friends. All right, so it looks like there is a two of wands here, which denotes um, a, being at a crossroads and needing to make a decision trying to decide which path you're going to take, Sagittarius. And then the Ace of Swords is here, which means that there is some type of betrayal or heartbreak coming to an end, um, feeling betrayed, things being sort of tough. This is being hurt, hurt, a lot of hurt feelings. But then you start over with the gift of clarity, the gift of truth, um, insight, right? Mercury enters. Sagittarius on the ninth. So this could be happening around that time where you start to feel a lot more. I'm looking at my calendar. Makes you you could be feeling a lot more sure about your direction. You could be um, really blunt in your speech. Know exactly what you want to say. Say what you mean to say. Okay. And it could be relating to your home life because we have a ten of cups here, which is um, very happy, happily ever after. Things being very harmonious. Okay, and then we also have the magician here, which is manifesting um, your desires. I feel like these are things that you really want to see happen. Okay, and then the six of uh, swords is here again, air energy. But I feel like you know the six of swords denotes it talks about travel. It talks about um, going into calmer waters. And things are very balanced, okay? Six of Swords energy, and then we have a Capricorn here. So um, Jupiter goes into Capricorn on the second. Um, some of you could be moving into some business ventures that are going to be particularly uh, successful, and that could be your new start. You could be starting a new job. You could be starting a new venture, but there is financial success in this new beginning and new start. Um, it's also this card also the way that it is uh, it's it's about travel or movement without a lot of people knowing as well the swords are down uh, which sort of implies not necessarily talking a lot Sagittarius but just sort of moving in silence towards uh, what it is that you want and being sort of disciplined you know Capricorns work really hard very disciplined Saturn rules Capricorn, which is also about being very disciplined and having a strategic plan and things like that. So some of you may be sort of getting in that mode to have a strategic plan for success, to be extremely successful by the end of the month of December. Um, some of you may be single. The, the uh, Nine of Pentacles is a very super single, super independent, you know, the destiny child all the women who's independent throw your hands <laughs> it's kind of that energy okay so let's get some clarifiers sagittarius because let's see what else is going on some of you could have a capricorn coming towards you someone making plans to come see you the six of cups is about somebody from your past coming back into the picture so you guys could have that going on so let's get clarifiers because we do have this seven of swords down here which is sort of shaky shaky moral behavior right um all right so clarifying the let's clarify holy spirit the uh, star card please the overall energy of the reading is a healing energy all right thank you so we have the Prince of Cups. Now, this is a very mysterious person. Now, this could be a mysterious, younger, right, Aquarius or air sign coming into your life, Sagittarius, okay? Uh, it could be, for some of you, it could feel like a dream come true. Um, this is also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but this person can be a little bit tough to figure out. 
their motives. Like, are they a friend or a foe? It's sort of they got this edge, but they're, they could be a little hard to to figure out here. So it looks like, you know, that person could be entering your life uh, or a theme, just a theme. It could be somebody from your past, too. Um, right. OK. Um, I'm wondering now there is an ace of wands here. So this makes me feel like new love. I don't know. This is a phallic symbol for hot but naked sex. Sad, so I'm not sure. Like there's some kind of new inspiration. New. Now that Prince of Cups is not in my Gilded Tarot deck. He's in my Cosmic Tarot. So when that pops up, it just sort of lets me know that there's somebody in your energy or could be coming into your life who is rather mysterious, a new love interest. You could be feeling like this is a dream come true. All the signs are direct now. Nothing's in retrograde. So it's full steam ahead, Sag. Let's see what else is going on. Holy Spirit, can we get clarity on the Queen of Swords? Thank you. All right, another Ace of Swords, guys. So you got the Ace of Swords twice. This is really being clear, okay? Be clear in your communication and your, um, I feel like it's asking if you need help with something, with your natural resources, with your money, time, whatever. I do feel like there is a uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus in the picture. This is, um, and it's somebody that I, I feel like they'd be willing to help you. It is a give and take sort of energy. What's the seven of swords? Now it's in your talents and you may not want to ask them. You may not want to. Like you may be like, I'll figure it out on my own. Um, what's the seven of swords? You know, seven of swords energy is also taking what you can get. It's like, it sort of implies like a person who's being greedy. And it's also like, I don't know if you have to leave something suddenly or you're like, well, I'm just going to take as much as I can carry and get out the door. It could kind of be that kind of energy, too. Um, it also could be this mysterious person in your life, too, is not to be trusted. That could be a thing. All righty. So clarifying the five, seven of swords is the five of swords. It's something that needs to end. Maybe this is something that's going to end rather quickly. Um, the five of swords is definitely shutting it down. You may know that you need to shut something down or you may feel in your gut somebody isn't right or somebody is a little shaky trying to figure them out. Um, the Prince of Pentacles is here. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. I feel for whatever reason like this is a baby's daddy um, coming back from the past. I also feel like this is so it's very parental um, masculine energy, but sort of somebody who's conservative not easy to get money out of. You could be, you know, fussing with your kid's father about money for the holidays. And it's like, listen, I need this. And you could just not be wanting to ask them for help because you don't want to deal with the bullshit, which I totally get. But don't let your pride stand in the way of your kids having a great Christmas. Not that they need a lot to be happy. We don't have to have things to be happy. But I think you could be taking on sads more than you need to. And it's okay to just be like, hey, this is what I need. All right. All right. So we have the emperor here at the top of the deck, Aries energy, as well as a six of wands at the bottom of the deck, which is happy success, successful energy, something taking uh, a course, a new change in direction. This is successful communication, successful insight and direction. This could be an authority figure recognizing you for a job well done, Sagittarius. Um, but I feel like it's acknowledgement. It is positive affirmation. Pat's on the back saying job well done. That looks good. Yeah, you could have been working really hard. The Ten of Wands here, which is having a lot of responsibility, carrying a lot on your shoulders, doing a lot. And it looks like you get some kind of verbal acknowledgement, if not an award or some kind of public acknowledgement of your of a job well done from a supervisor, a, a, a masculine, authoritarian type figure, father, grandfather, uncle, something like that. All right, what is this? Two of Wands and Ace of Swords. Some of you may be getting a job offer as well, okay? 
you may have to decide if you want to relocate or not and there's a six of swords again so yeah there seems to be some type of very apparent success Sagittarius you guys have been working pretty hard and it looks like you are going to be acknowledged for a job well done that could take you to another location to another city or place and you may not you may or may not accept the offer but this four of cups is an offer coming in um, and I think it's because you've done something well Sagittarius and so you will you will be recognized you got the nine of Pentacles twice which is you know that's abundant financial success you got it in your outcome twice so this is being extremely independent super super single and super successful okay the king of wands is at the bottom of the deck as well could be bumping into a new sagittarius aries or leo or that could just be you and your bossed up energy sagittarius and can we clarify the ace of swords holy spirit all right the hangman which is making um i feel like this is making a choice after some time it's like okay let me let me take some time to consider my options there is a four of wands here now this implies a level of commitment even if it's a lot of people call that the marriage card but i feel like it's having clarity after you have meditated and spent some time really thinking about the choice that you want to make Okay. So I feel like there is going to be uh, someone is going to ask you for a higher level of commitment, even if it's not if it's not in love, it may be in a job. OK, so there is something coming that will cause you to have to make a decision or make a choice. But I feel like you will be able to make that after you spend some time sort of zen and out meditating, um, just spending some time, quality time, thinking through the details and things like that, which also our swords energy can indicate a need to pay attention to detail, read everything very thoroughly, make sure you understand what is being offered to you, go over the details again and again, but it looks like there could be a, a very stable offer coming to you, Sagittarius, in love or in your career. Job well done, guys yes 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 i love it love it love it if you are dealing with a um, with an air lots of air energy in this reading so you may want to check your birth or natal chart lots of air energy sagittarius i do feel like there is somebody in your life that cannot be trusted or if this is your energy it's just sort of um temptation to maybe not do things on the up and up i feel though if that's the case definitely do things the right way because i do think people are this just gives me a sense like somebody is watching like his whole disposition is like i just want to see if they're going to do the right thing so you could be in a situation or a scenario where you're it's it's like i wonder if sag is going to pass the test are they going to be honest are they going to tell the truth about something and it looks like you passed the test sagittarius and you're offered some kind of gift promotion it could be practical or it could be even spiritual right that uh, karma jupiter god jesus the holy spirit whoever and however you believe you know you pass the test i feel like you you are maybe tempted to do something or somebody in your in your energy field is a little uh, it could be a new person coming in but it does look like you shut it down quickly and you make the right decision Okay, so I do like that energy, Sagittarius. I do think some of you are going through a major transformation, but you end up in a really, really good place. I see an Empress card here. And you know, the Emperor and the Empress go together. So you could be bumping it, making room for your equal, cutting off this joker and making room for your equal while you concentrate on your money and boss up. And then through the law and the power of the law of attraction, you bring to you what you are, which is a boss. Ow, pal, Sagittarius. I love that. All right, friends. Well, it looks like we've covered December 2018. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to book your personal reading or get your own personal 2020 forecast for next year, just go to my website, healingtetalk.com, and book your reading now. Thank you guys so much and God bless you.